death is a topic we would rather avoid. It's unfriendly. It is an intruder. It is dark, gloomy, and downright depressing. It robs us of our happiness. It ends relationships. It takes away the people we love. But God has also promised that he will raise the dead back to life again. Can he? This series addresses an age-old concern that we all have. The concern for sin, evil, death, and what happens after we die. Is there hope after death? When God created us humans, he intended for us to live forever in a loving relationship with him. But this relationship has been broken by sin. Here, we address the origin of sin and look more closely at death and dying. But instead of looking at death negatively, we look at it in the context of hope, the promised hope based on what Jesus did for us when he died and came back to life again. Almighty God, death is not something we welcome, but beyond death, there is hope. Thus, we live, dear God, with the hope that the day shall come when we will live eternally in our heavenly home. In Jesus' name, amen. By faith, Abraham, when put to the test, offered up Isaac. He who had received the promise was ready to offer up his only son. He considered the fact that God is able even to raise someone from the dead, and figuratively speaking, he did raise him back. Our ancestors, the fathers of the Old Testament, were grounded in the Bible teachings of the final resurrection of the dead. The resurrection of the dead is not some zombie apocalypse portrayed in the movies. It is a time when God will wake up his people from the dead. At that time, he will wake up those who died believing in Jesus and his promised return. Then they will exchange mortality for immortality. This teaching is a burning hope that lives within the hearts of his people. This hope in the resurrection does not come from the Greek idea that the spirits continue to live after the body dies. No, this hope in the resurrection is based on the Bible teachings of what happens when Christ returned to get his people, both the living and the dead. But how does the resurrection happen? How can a body that has been cremated, burned to ashes, decomposed in the grave or destroyed by some other means come to life again. How can someone who has been dead for thousands of years wake up and regain their identity? This question leads us to thoughts about the mystery of life. We are alive and enjoy the life God graciously gives us daily. We wake up, we live, we breathe, and we have our being. Though we may not understand the supernatural origin of life, we know that in the beginning, through the power of his word, God brought into existence life from non-life, life from nothing. When God spoke his words, life came into existence. Review what happened in Genesis 1. Also, Psalms 33, 6, and nine tells us that his word made the heavens and the earth. Psalms 33, six says, by the word of the Lord, the heavens were made and all the host of them by the breath of his mouth. And Psalms 33, nine says, for he spoke and it was done. He commanded and it stood fast. So, if God was able to create life on earth for the first time from nothing, why should we doubt his ability to bring life back into a decayed body? Therefore, for those who believe there is hope, we have hope that burns within our hearts. We have hope in the coming of the Lord. How precious to those who are losing their love of this world 
are their faith and hope in the promises of God, which opens before them the future immortal life. Their hopes may fasten upon unseen realities of the future world. Christ has risen from the dead, the first fruits. Hope and faith strengthens the soul to pass through the dark shadows of the tomb in full faith of coming forth to immortal life in the morning of the resurrection. The paradise of God, the home of the blessed, there all tears shall be wiped from off all faces when Christ shall come the second time to be admired in all them that believed. Death shall be swallowed up in victory and there shall be no more sickness, no more sorrow, no more death. The life giver will call up his purchased possessions in the first resurrection. And until that trumpet hour, when the last trumpet shall sound and the very vast army shall come forth to eternal victory, every sleeping saint will be kept in safety and will be guarded as a precious jewel who is known to God by name. If God has the power to create something from nothing, he can surely raise the dead. So why should we not believe he can bring the dead back to life again? This lesson examines the concept of the final resurrection and how it unfolded in the Old Testament times. We examine what some Old Testament writers say about the final resurrection. Our focus will be specifically on the statements of the patriarch Job, some psalmists, and the prophets Isaiah and Daniel. Job experienced some painful tragedies. He was surrounded by catastrophes, sickness, pain, and death. What kept Job going despite his calamities? Find out in day two. I shall see God.